Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program's about our evolution of consciousness. And I cannot think of two more gifted, talented, loving people that are part of this movement than Allison and Alex Gray. Welcome. Thank nice. you so much. So nice to have you back here. It's and, great to see and you. And congratulations. <laughs> they just completed their, well, you didn't complete, you completed you your goal you win. of your, your goal. Kickstarter campaign. Yes. That's right. We just, this is our first interview. Yes. Since we won our Kickstarter campaign. At 10.30 a.m., <laughs> we achieved an $125,000 uh, pledge amount that uh, we were uh, asking our community to help us so that we could uh, pay for engineering drawings, get the uh, stuff ready for the building of Entheon. Entheon is the first temple complex, in a sense, that is happening at the Cosm land. Well, the You're temple complex is Cosm. Cosm. Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, yes. Cosm. Yes. But there is uh, our first temple is called Entheon, and it really is the uh, sanctuary of visionary art. That's what it is. It's the place where visionary art will live, and the first long-term exhibition uh -huh. in the uh, sanctuary of visionary art, Entheon, will be the work of Alex Gray. But the bodies... Progression of different the sacred mirrors. The will sacred be mirrors. There, that's what it yeah. means. And the progress of the soul. If any one of our uh, listeners have the sacred mirrors book, they'll see that there's two sections. There's the sacred mirrors and there's progress of the soul. Oh. Sacred mirrors are the sacred mirrors, as many of us know. And progress of the soul is sort of the life of a person. Oh, I and see. And that's it's kind of like a very special set of paintings that we have mm. not sold uh -huh. or we some of them bought back. And they're a about the progress of a soul. There's Tell paintings like praying and missing and copulating and, 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 <laughs> copulating and, and you know, pregnancy and birth. Oh, and it's kind of the universal human story or caring a spot and then at the end and dying. dying. And, and so there's a there's a whole arc of mm. the uh, life of a person. And uh, like the sacred mirrors, it's an attempt to uh, get at a universal that everyone can identify with, and that's why I use translucency in representing people, because it, uh, I always thought, well, you're representing one race or mm. another. Right. Uh, is there a way of pointing to the universality of, 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 of the human, the human being experience? And the spiritual essence of the human being, which you really revolutionized as a medium in a sense. I mean, it's been around, but you, somehow you were able to grind body and spirit into one image. It's a, it's a symbolic uh, coming to the surface mm. of a collective understanding. Mm -hmm. that is, I think, the edge of the evolution of consciousness at yes. this time. Uh, we're no longer materialists, mm -hmm. strictly, because we understand, even scientifically, that there are subtle energetic fields that uh, are also part of our reality. Mm -hmm. And they become so subtle at certain points that we might call them uh, psychic, Mm -hmm. or uh, astral, mm -hmm. or um, some kind of spiritual uh, energetic mm -hmm. that we're uh, participants mm -hmm. with it. Well, that's why I say your work is so important, because you've created a vision of what people were feeling. So you've created a, a cognitive feature in people's psyche. A map. a map, right. So people would feel stuff, and I'd hear them in the chapel and say, that's what I felt. So you're making people realize what they felt. You're giving recognition to a cognitive feature that we have in us. So you are then calling in this another, next age of awakening of who we are as human beings. It's, it's a carrot uh, on a stick mm. because uh, God throws visions and, and music and everything to the creative people and uh, they get to see it maybe, uh, or they're the ones that are looking for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, if you can get it out mm -hmm. uh, into a material form, if you can download heaven to earth, mm -hmm. then uh, people see that little chunk of shining heaven 
and they're drawn toward it like a magnet, evolutionarily. It resonates within their own bodies as as self. I saw that. You I saw was that. And that. Allison too was yes, part yes, of that yes. vision. It's exactly. not a leap of faith at that point. It's a it's a natural knowing. You it's saw a place where you've been and people can tell you that God doesn't exist and you just go, I just saw God. You. Hey, I went there. I saw it. My for you, it's for like me, saying, it exists. You know? yeah, it's like saying Egypt doesn't exist. Right. You know? I've been there. Well, I was there. Right. I saw it. There right. You are can't pyramids. argue with it. Elephants yeah. don't exist. There right. were people that didn't think that elephants existed right. because and they didn't think see People elephants. don't think spirit exists. I don't, well, if I don't, they haven't I don't been there. blame them. If they yeah. haven't been there, how can no, they but, know? But because... But there now are ways. I think the frequency of the planet, though, is getting to the place where we are vibrating in an essence where spirit is right here, where the incarnational the veil form is very exactly, thin, very and the power thin. of embodiment is yes. what bringing the spirit into form is all about. No, Alex always says that God is only looking for you as much as you're looking for God, and I think mm. for both of us. Our experience, our opening to that natural knowing mm -hmm. was an intentional one. It was like, God, talk to me now. Or if you're out there. See, with Alex, it was a, it was a you know, definite, you know, you said. What? I hadn't, what? I hadn't prayed in probably a decade. When you first met in college, that whole story, people can read about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I hadn't prayed in a uh -huh. decade. And the one day I decided to maybe save my life. Uh, to make a prayer to God, show me a sign that I should live, you know? Uh -huh. I take acid and meet Allison. That, that same, same day. Hours, same day, okay. 24 so hours. Now here's a sign for you. I just want <laughs> to tell you, it's quick. I read <laughs> Ram Dass's book, and it's Be Here Now. Uh -huh. Remember Be Here Now? Yes, and I do. he said he tripped and he did LSD and he asked for the divine and, 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 and an opening to the divine seeing the white light and I said okay I'm going to do that in my room my 9 by 12 foot room uh -huh. I'm going to do that and ask to see and I did and wow. that was my opening and it was three years it took me to find somebody else who had that experience <laughs> so you know. now it's interesting the first temple you're building is called Entheogen, Entheon, which, which is Entheon. a Entheon, Entheon is a tribute which to means. the Entheogen, would well, you say? Or what? Why Entheon is, yeah. means a it's place. It's derivative. It's a place to discover the divine within. Mm -hmm. Now, Entheogen so, means say what Entheogen. an Entheogen is a sacrament mm -hmm. that would uh, enable. That's the gen part. Oh, okay, you know. It would enable you to access the divine or the God within, mm -hmm. the spirit within. So, so there, there have always been sacraments, mm -hmm. you know, throughout human history right. that put people in contact with this realm. This was the missing element in our religions uh, of modern day. But isn't that the purpose of the temple? So talk about yes. the temple and how the temple then will reflect the divine yes. within. Well, once artists were and mystics were able to access the divine realm through whatever means necessary, right. through meditation, through prayer, through uh, dance, fasting, fa through dance, yeah. through all kinds of shamanic ways. Mm. There's uh, and so what. Uh, once we get that glimpse of heaven and we want to bring it into mm -hmm. uh, uh, the world and the creative lives, uh, uh, this uh, is, uh, you need a sacred place to do that. Right. And uh, to share the visions. Why? Uh, these visions are sacred. We must protect them. Mm -hmm. we, we can't just uh, show them on the marketplace and, mm -hmm. and share them in the galleries. The, you, you, go progressively in any sacred space, uh, there is uh, a progression of entryways mm -hmm. of coming closer and closer and closer to the Holy of Holies and uh, glimpses of heaven and the sublime manifestations of this uh, process in mm -hmm. human life have been the building of temples mm -hmm. uh, and throughout the ages and throughout the world cultures. Mm -hmm. And you can even see the cave art as mm -hmm. a kind of early temple, yeah. these magnificent spaces mm -hmm. uh, that uh, where you're mostly within mm -hmm. and you, you're seeing uh, sacred art. 
Mm. So uh, throughout world cultures, you find this element. And a people uh, who share a vision mm -hmm. and a kind of meaning mm -hmm. uh, pool together to create a new kind of sacred space. Yeah. And so today, what's remarkable uh, and what we're kind of celebrating uh, is this uh, Kickstarter uh, that has allowed us to raise uh, money that will have a real impact mm. uh, on the creation of a new kind of sacred space. And this is uh, all being done through the latest technology that's available today, the social media technology, mm. Facebook, Instagram, yes. uh, the uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been uh, really working those uh, areas and finding out, you know, when you tweet, you don't know who's listening. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you're ever making contact. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh. you know, uh, so, so what this demonstrates is, yes, we did hear you. Yes, mm -hmm. we are with you. Mm -hmm. And there is enough, uh, there's over 800 people who have pledged uh, Entheon into existence. Mm. So this is a community, yeah. just like in the past. And you're building Global. it for our community. So, but all it's over a, the yeah, world, like yeah. Australia, Santiago, we go everywhere, well, and there are people that know about this project. And people love you, you know, everywhere Well, we love them the too, believe and, me. And so now this temple will be theirs as well. Exactly. Oh, yes. it's, this is the it's legacy just, that all of us together in the consciousness movement uh, are going to leave. As and isn't a, New York a wonderful center? Isn't it, New York a wonderful center? We had to choose it. somewhere. It's the thing. So how do you build it as a sacred? I mean, the challenge is your paintings are sacred. Your art is sacred and beautiful. The Many language, people's the art light is sacred. Language, all the art greatest in the sacred art we want is, to have is it. sacred because yeah. it comes from another source. So how do you make a building and art? I mean, of course, there's models in the past. You've been to Damanhur. You've been to the yeah. great temples of Egypt. Right. How do you make something new? That's in a right. digital world, but you know, we want people to enter physically into a sacred space. That's well, the challenge. Uh, the first thing is the vision. And uh, I received the seed of the vision uh, on two uh, different occasions. And one of them was during a meditation. After our yoga, mm -hmm. we sit and meditate. And I basically asked God, well, what do you want? Uh -huh. uh, and I saw this sequence of connected heads. Oh. And this has been a design element that has continued uh, into Entheon. From uh, the net of being. Uh, from, from the net of being and mm. from, uh, there's, a, there's a solar temple that we're working on up there at Cosm as well, and that has also the interlinked heads mm. in, a, in a circle. Mm. So now we're going to build like a square Oh. of uh, interconnected godheads that represent the major world uh, wisdom traditions. Oh. Each one uh, with a, uh, the symbol in each one of these very mm. similar heads. Mm. So it shows uh, the interconnectedness of the underlying transcendental force mm. uh, that comes out and expressed through these different cultures. Mm. And it also contains a symbol of the angel of the creative imagination mm. that is holding a, a spear-like paintbrush up to its heart uh, where it's emblazoned and uh, it, it is the connector uh, that's, it's, its head is like a teardrop cried from mm. the galactic eye of the creator. Beautiful. Uh, that as the merciful God has uh, bestowed on us a creative imagination mm. to link us with creator. And mm. so it, uh, this creative imagination angel connects with the human world. That is a beautiful vision because yes. it shows you it's a tribute to the, the imagination that we are. What Blake said, the human being is the imagination. So who we are is the divine imagination. You're creating a space that will be a tribute to well, that. Well, it's to, meant to be an experience for people. Yes, yeah, so how a does it become? A walk-in experience. Like people should come there expecting to 
have transformation. But, it's like a holy place. What, so you what, go in like you could go into a like you'd go into a temple. But what will create the transformation? I the mean, beauty. And also, I want to say that there will be microcosm gallery within Entheon. You remember we had microcosm gallery in in, in, New York. in Chelsea yes. in New York which was a gallery of a rotating uh, exhibition mm -hmm. of emerging and established mm -hmm. visionary artists, like the best visionary artists, almost all of them alive today, although we did show Jerry Garcia after he passed. Yeah, you have to. Okay, but you know, and, but Wavy Gravy was shown there, mm -hmm. and Kenny Scharf, and lots of great artists mm -hmm. were shown there. Anyway, we will have a microcosm gallery at Entheon as well, uh -huh. so we'll be showing other visionary artists too. So how long? The now permanent you, exhibition. But now you have you have this money now to work with. Congratulations. Well, yes. How long will it actually take for the temple to be built and all design features of Entheon to come into existence? Well, um, I wanted this to say is, I wanted to oh, just say one sure. thing before we get to okay. that, and that is that the Aya angels gave us a message simultaneously. The which angels? The Aya. The ayahuasca angels oh, okay. came to us in Brazil, and we asked a question, which is basically a, a, a procedural question about no. where what we should build next and next. When we when Cosm acquired this property, it had six buildings and a barn on it. What should we do? Should we start our brand new chapel mm -hmm. out in the meadow that we want to start a brand new vision? Or should we use the buildings that are there? And mm -hmm. that's what the Aya Angels told us both separately in our really? own journey. Separately. Well, we had the same question. And it gave us the same answer. And it was basically that we should use and re restore, because the place was very degraded. So restore all the buildings one at a time before mm -hmm. we actually embark on the main chapel, oh. which is the chapel of sacred mirrors that you were uh, mentioning right. before. Well, it was my orientation right. to your work when I walked into the gallery in the new, 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 new museum, museum. Yeah. 1985. And that's a whole story too. But there is like, boom, my initiation into spiritual consciousness in a sense. So that's why it is such a holy, sacred place for me. From in my personal journey, so that's why I love what you've done. Well, uh, and so you know, there's certainly over a hundred thousand sacred mirror books in like five different languages and stuff like mm. that. And so it's that message and the idea of a sacred mirror. What is that? Mm -hmm. You know, it's more than it's five like yes. so. So uh, it, you that is one of the holy things that we want to enshrine uh, in. Uh, temple comp in part of the temple complex. Right. So the first stop will be Entheon. The way that we do it is uh, there's many steps. It's taken two and a half years and up till like last week mm -hmm. to get the town to approve uh -huh. uh, the building of it. You mm -hmm. don't just go building something like this. You mm -hmm. have to get approval. Not in and New you, York, anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you get the site plan approved. Oh. That means the entire driveway has to be repaved. Oh. We have to do parking all kinds lot. of things. To really? We've already put a new well too. in, and we have some we have structural stuff and basement well, stuff. Things that you don't see have been done. But you know, lots of that goes along with that is that you're building a beautiful community right. of people. And, oh, and it's right. not like you're just building this right. building and waiting for people no. to come up. No. They're already there. They've yeah. already shown up. They've been waiting you for it. four yeah. years, you know, yeah. and the community's been building. Yes. So this is why there's enough of a of a uh, communal mm. psychic push and even dollars that right. are uh, helping to make this happen. There's a bank that's going to give right. us a loan oh, on yes. it. I mean, and because I remember when you were thinking about buying that land and you said, should we? And Alex said, oh my God, we're putting everything into it. And here you are in a whole nother phase. Yeah. Beautiful, congratulations. Well, the feedback mm. from yeah. Kickstarter is really such a wonderful mm. indicator of support that 800 people so far, we could be the second highest uh, funded, uh, funded pro art project, project on okay. Kickstarter ever. Yeah. What is the steps of actually making this temple okay. happen? Okay, the steps uh, are first, you get the permission from the town. Right. Then uh, you, uh, we, in our case, we're, uh, we've reinforced the infrastructure of the existing structure that we're building this around. This is a, uh, uh, an existing footprint of the carriage house oh. that we are using Built in some 1882. of the, we're integrating part of the carriage house and building on something new mm -hmm. so the uh, what happens then is you make engineering and uh, steel mm -hmm. uh, drawings and so that's happening now uh -huh. and they should be about done then uh, you get 
estimates from the steel people. They put in the steel foundation. Okay. Uh, the uh, stuff on the old building will be destroyed, demolished. Okay. And uh, the new steel will be put in place and a new roof will be put on. So just, I mean, as we wrap, how long will it take to actually have the building? Two years. I think we're, Two we're targeting years. September of 2014, but that's a very open question. You know, we're building that's our, our experiences. Mm. We built three buildings on the property already. I mean, we've oh, completely right. restored house, them. Which is a there's our studio where we teach mm. painting intensives and the mission of art, and then there's the 10 bedroom, ten, it's a guest house. It's a beautiful You can come and stay there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Eleven bathrooms we did over again. Yes. And the whole building is this three-story beautiful guest mm. house. And the office was our first start. It was like a, it was a split uh, ranch mm. from the 70s. It was very, yes. very yeah. compromised and we had to restore it. So we've been learning as mm. we've been going along and that's what I think that's is our, is our path. And that was what the angels wanted us to do. That's right. Was say, you learn as you go along and you'll get better at this. Has it been a creative process or is oh it very? It has. Our, oh, we call it a social sculpture. This is a sculpture that we do with a gigantic community. Yeah. And, you know, Christo used to create those those things. Mm. And it took a lot of people to do it in the town and everything. There are other people that have done work mm -hmm. like this. I mean, Joseph Boys planted 7,000 But 7, you also, oaks. as beings, have become, in a sense, parents to a community, a new age of... Of seekers, and they look to you as elders. Look at us, we're all gray. I no mean, wonder they look to us as elders. But it's honey. really beautiful because you're holding the vision, and I think that's an important um, point to have for people coming into the world. How are you going to hold the vision? And you've held it since since the early 80s, since when you created this chapel, the sacred mirrors themselves. You've held this, and this is your life's work, and it is a beautiful thing. It's coming. Thing. It's beautiful. It's, it's happening. Coming. It's happening. It's happening. Entheon. Entheon. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank, Thank you so, you so much for having us. both yeah. beautiful <laughs> friends. And, and oh, we um, love you, um, Alan. We've known Alan how long? 20 years? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. 98, I think, yeah, we did that interview. And we did that in 98, but I met you yeah. in the 80s, yes. you know, right. when yeah. like you were first coming out there. That's and right. I'm happy to be a part of that community yes. because... It's an honor to watch the progress of spirit in form on planet Earth. And, and you, you were leading, like what I'm trying to do with exactly. New Reality, we're leading a new opening into consciousness that yeah. makes spirit a part of physical reality. Yeah. Like your paintings, like the light language. Thank you for having this show mm. go on as long as you've had it yeah. and for supporting and being such a pillar in this community, in this love yeah. tribe. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody knows you, Alan. Everybody, and, uh, all over. So you're the Dick Cavett of, uh, <laughs> of uh, the transformation a, age. You know? good <laughs> thing. You really are the Dick Cavett of transformation. You. Well, you know, working with people like you and being part of this, it's we're we're supporting each other, and it's and thank you so for true. everything you're doing. Yes. I can't wait to see what Entheon will actually be look like and the opening there. and the oh, yeah. door oh, will be yeah. there with it's you. It's going to be awesome. Okay. okay. September It'll 2000. It'll be September 2014. We're, 2014. That's what we're shooting. At the soonest. Yes. At it's a year soon. and a half. It gives us a year and a oh. half. Uh, okay. I so think if people want to contribute even after, how do they get in oh. contact with you? And um, Absolutely. Cosm.org. Cosm uh, Cosm. uh, anytime one wants to make a, a donation mm. and be part of the uh, building of Entheon uh, and check in on us, uh, go to Cosm.org. Okay. You can also go to alexgray.com. And, and kickstarter.com and go to Entheon. That's the other way, getting into the Entheon. So we're going to do Entheon, and then we're going to actually build another building, which will be the chapel. chapel. Sacred chapel. Mirrors. We'll be building all along. We, we have, yeah. we have plans for Sphinx This is a life's work. People. Yeah, it's we a temple plan, grounds. We have, this, we have plans, temple plans for grounds. Sphinx And do you know temple means reflection of the stars? Template, temple. So you are building heaven on earth. Yes, that's the idea. Thank you. Temples. It's, this is Alan Steinfeld <laughs> with my good friends Aww. and the um, receivers of a project, uh, a Kickstarter project that yeah. will push you into the next level of reality. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. My guests have been Allison and Alex Gray of Cosm, and um, I totally support their work and everything they're about. So if you want to know more about some of their work, you can also contact me at newrealities.com. You can check out cosm.org. You can email me at newrealities at earthlink.net. Thanks for watching tonight.
from the beginning of the cave painting through today. Creativity has been part of every sacred tradition. The language of creativity, the sacred language of creativity that we all share. We try and make imagery that's relevant to everyone at any age. Not about the marketplace, but about what we hold sacred. Help us envision a new kind of art and architecture. Imagine a building that's a sculpture. And you take a journey through art. Entheon will be a sanctuary of visionary art, a destination open to the public year-round. Entheon will be a place to discover the creator within. Paintings in the Cosm Collection offer devotional portrayals of the universal human journey from birth to death and beyond. With love, family, enlightenment and eco-consciousness as the unfolding iconic narrative. Cosm found exquisite land conveniently located near New York City. The Visionary Arts Sanctuary has been in development for two years. Town planners have now approved the building of Entheon. The bank believes in our project and has offered a construction loan. But this will not be enough to cover the entire expense of transforming an 1882 carriage house into an inspiring visionary art experience. We're closer than we've ever been, but to manifest this vision, we need your help. Watch our Kickstarter as we move toward building Entheon. We'll be creating a personal video blog from the road as we visit many amazing locations and meet with the global community that's realizing this vision. It's kind of like a collective art energy, and that can do extraordinary things. Entheon is a destination where you can be uplifted. Thank you to everybody who is giving to this project to help build Entheon. Keep a watch on us.